people welcome. The Cape Welsh Choir welcomed guests to a reception at the High Commissioner's residence as part of a week of exciting Great British events. Tonight is a good example of politicians and esteemed guests, etc. It's coming together and socially engaging with each other. You know, you see the fronts kind of drop. People that might stare at each other over podiums in Parliament actually come and greet each other. And I think that's what this type of function does for South Africa. Dr. Mungo Sutu Butelezi was in fine form. Any fond memories that you have about the UK? I had wonder, a wonderful time being received by Lady Thatcher more than once you know, in Downing Street wow. you know, to, to, to actually to speak against sanctions and so on. And it created a great bond even between me and SL to the extent that when she turned 80, I was the only black guest you know, at a party. This was Dame Nicola Brewer's party. As a diplomat and daughter to Trevor Brewer, a Welsh rugby international, South Africa will have been on her radar from childhood. There are many great initiatives happening between South Africa and the UK. Many firsts. Absolutely, and I was just looking back in preparation for this evening on all the things that we've done, both separately and together over the last three years, and it's an amazing list. How important has this relationship become? South Africa is absolutely on the top of all of our lists because it's a, an emerging economy, it's a country that we've had, uh, you know, centuries of relationship. There's just, it's just such a, a rich texture to the relationship. It's the most fabulous job to have. Hugo Fleer felt the same. He'd won the competition to design Dame Brewer's dress for the evening, and his prize will be a trip to the UK during London Fashion Week. Hugo, huge congratulations on winning this fashion competition. Now, what inspired this outfit? I took inspiration from the British flag and deconstructed every element on the flag and then did a textile print and also textile manipulation. I love it. I particularly like the zips, you know. And I love the way, it, you know, it's, it's, it's not classic red, white and blue. You know, you've got the orange that's a bit, bit ready and you've got a blue in there. But actually what it does go with is something else here this evening, which is the Bloodhound Supersonic Car. Our guide to the simulator for this rocket car was its education program director, Dave Rowley, a man who once worked on Concorde. Dave, I've heard so much about the simulator. How fast does it go? Well, this is an experience of the Bloodhound supersonic car. You will be experiencing what it's like to travel at 1,610 kilometers an hour. I know this is going to be fun once I get going, but I know there's a deeper meaning. It's uh, an attempt at the world land speed record, but the number one aim is to get young people excited by science, maths and technology. Later this year, the Bloodhound will take to the deserts of the Northern Cape to practice, then make the land speed record. Another proudly British and South African venture. I've seen a lot of people in the room, uh, some from South Africa, some from other parts of the world, and they all have really good things to say about South Africa, so that makes me proud. I'm happy to be here because I can represent. If someone asks where I'm from, I don't just go, I'm from Cape Town, I'm South African. <laughs> On balance, it's a good thing to be.